Welcome biologists. In this session we're going to take a look at spec point G from classification and evolution where we need to know about anatomical, physiological and behavioural adaptations. There's also some terminology we need to know which will help us understand why different organisms from different taxonomic groups look similar to each other. So we're going to have a look first of all at those adaptations. The first one is anatomical and this is normally a structural element to the organism such as having a flagella on the bacteria. The other one is physiological and this is where we have usually the development of an enzyme or a hormone or a metabolic pathway which helps that organism to survive better. So for example aerobic or anaerobic respirations are examples of these. We've also got behavioural adaptations, for example the earthworm moving away when touched which is stigmotaxis. Now on each one of those uh, you also have some extra examples there in the blue boxes. Now in an exam, you may get asked to identify which one of these um, a specific example is. So they'll give you an example you have to say, or oh, it's behavioral, or it's physiological, or it's anatomical. They're normally uh, only one mark to answer these ones. So we've had a look at that first bit of the spec point. We're now gonna move on to have a look at the terminology we need to know to explain this next part of the spec point. And this is the terminology we need to know about. So if you wanna pause the video and find out and try and research this beforehand, you can do. But we're going to have a look at these now. So homologous structures, this is where we have the same evolutionary origin. Um, so therefore the structures are similar in different species. So here you can see the wing of the bat, the fin of the whale, the leg of a cheetah, and the arm of a human. Because they're all developed from the same evolutionary origin, it means that they have a similar structure. You can see here that the bones, we've all got that green bone there, which then goes into these blue ones, and then so on and so forth. So we all have those same bone structure or similar bone structures inside because of the same evolutionary origins. The other one is analog analogous features, and this is where we have two different species that have a similar function. Um, but the structure of them is different. So here you can see the wings of an insect and the wings of a bird. So that the function of this is similar and that it allows them to fly, but the structure is very, very different between these two organisms. We have divergent evolution. So this is where a species have the same common ancestor and therefore similar characteristics. As you can see here, the modern elephant and the woolly mammoth. And we also have convergent evolution. So this is where organisms are not closely related, but they do have similar structures. So we have the fish and the mammal, but they both evolved to be streamlined and have similar kind of fins and movement. So the next thing we need to know about here is we need to apply this to the marsupial mole, which is found in Australia, and the placental mole, which is from North America. Now these moles are very similar in, in their structure and where they live. However, there is some massive, so there are some big differences between the two. So the top picture, the marsupial, uh, marsupial organisms have a pouch. Now the more common one that you're probably familiar with is the kangaroo. So the kangaroo has a pouch uh, and she can actually support three live young at the same time. So she can have a joey outside of her pouch. Um, she can have a, a joey inside of her pouch attached to one of the teats inside and then she can actually have another joey inside the uterus in a paused state. Now this kind of um, reproduction is really helpful for organisms that live in places like Australia because Australia can be quite a hostile environment where it can be really really hot are really arid and dry. Now, if, if there's a particular season where the um, kangaroo or any of the marsupials in that, in that instance, if there's a particular season where it is too difficult to support young uh, and produce enough milk for the young, then they can pause their pregnancies. Uh, whereas a placental mammal, um, such as the one at the bottom here, the placental mole, uh, they carry their young inside them and the young is attached to the placenta and they give birth to live young, but they cannot pause their pregnancy in, in a placental mole. Now, the reason why uh, they've developed to have different reproductive systems is due to the uh, speciation. Um, so all the continents did used to be all together in a continent called Pangaea. And due to continental drift, the um, Australia and Northern American uh, areas used to be lying next to each other in Pangaea, but due to continental drift, they've split apart from each other. So therefore, um, this allowed those placental moles and the marsupial moles 
to then evolve through speciation, allopatric speciation being separated by a geographical barrier to develop uh, and evolve into different species and therefore they can no longer interbreed. So you're gonna look at speciation in the next few videos. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best with your studies.